Strawberry Sequoia here from the Mary Jane Experience. And today we're gonna to talk about indica versus sativa. Do those words even matter? For most of my cannabis consuming career, I've been told that there's two types of weed, indica and sativa. Indica being the in the couch, super chill body high, and sativa being the energetic, uplifting strain. You may have started to hear lately that those two words don't mean as much as we once thought they did. According to Dr. Ethan Russo, they don't mean shit. Botany wise, indica is gonna have short, wide leaves and sativa is gonna have long, thin leaves. That's really the only difference that you need to know about. As far as your high experience, indica and sativa should not matter at all. So what does determine what type of high you're gonna get? Terpenes and cannabinoids. Terpenes are aromatic oils found in thousands of plants. The terpene myrcene will give you that in the couch feeling, whether it's sativa or indica. Linalool is another great terpene, which is also found in lavender, very relaxing. A cultivar with a large amount of something like limonene will give you an energetic uplifting effect. Again, whether it's sativa or indica. And determining the terpene profile of what you're ingesting will be a much better indication of the effect. Next, cannabinoids. You probably know about THC and CBD. THC makes us feel hungry and high, super psychoactive. It relieves symptoms like pain and nausea. CBD is the non-intoxicating compound. It's known to be extremely good at relieving anxiety sometimes pain and very anti-inflammatory. There's loads of other cannabinoids. Something like THCV is a great example. It's a great appetite suppressant. No more munchies. Looking at your cannabinoids and terpenes is really gonna be what determines your experience. Thank you for watching and check out the Mary Jane Experience at maryjaneexperience.com or on all the social media platforms. Have a great day.